Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Well, I made my decision on what bike I'm going to bring to Mallorca this, uh, this trip coming up soon. And you guessed it, it's the Gamma Crucis 2, as I call it, bike right behind me. This is the bike that I built two videos ago. And the reason I'm bringing it is because that video is blown up. It's been so popular. I have nearly 20,000 views on it. And I'm always, it seems like, all day getting uh, comments and questions coming in about it. So thanks everybody for watching and commenting. I appreciate that a lot. Uh, so I just felt it fitting that I'm going to a YouTube meetup. Uh, this is a popular YouTube bike of mine, so I have to bring it. It's not the best bike for the job, probably. It's a bit heavy and uh, whatnot, but uh, it just makes sense to bring it. So I'm bringing this one, but because I'm bringing it, it means I need to do some work to get it uh, up to, up to um, the level it needs to be. That said, I have been riding it to work almost every day, uh, back and forth, and it's worked perfectly fine. But uh, that's just a short trip. Um, I haven't done any big trips with it yet, and there are some areas I need to address. Let's take a look at them. Uh, the front shifting isn't that great. It's really difficult to get it into the smallest ring, so I need to do something about that. I think I can just manage that with adjustment. Uh, I have two new tires I'm going to put on it. Uh, I'm going to take the, a shorter stem for my other road bike, put it on this one. Um, the dropout spacing. I saw an RJ, the bike guy video where he mentioned like um, how important it was, not how important, but he mentioned that it was somewhat important, I guess, to uh, have the dropout spacing correct. So like the angle, so the parallelism is right and uh, whatnot. So I'm gonna check that out. I don't think it's right right now. Uh, I might paint the seat post just to make it look a little bit better. And I need to add on another bottle cage because that's a big trip in Mallorca coming up. So anyway, that's the plans for today. You can take a look. Let's get started. Hey guys, today is the day before I leave on my Mallorca trip. So what am I doing this morning? I'm going out for a ride. The thing is, is because of my knee problem, I haven't been able to test my bike at all. So this bike that I built from a mountain bike is very untested. Today I'm gonna go out there. The goal is to give it a little ride. Not too big of a ride though. So not only will this be a test of the bike, but it will also be a test of my knee. So um, this will be my first ride of any significance, first time doing any kind of climbing. It's not going to be long, maybe just 30 minutes or so, but it'll give me an idea how the bike's going to perform and hopefully how my knee will perform. So uh, let's get on the road and see how it goes. Well, I'm back from the ride. It went pretty good. It could have been worse, but it could have been a little bit better. Let me tell you about it. The biggest concern I had and still do have is definitely my knee. I, as you might know, I injured it on my long ride across Florida. It was just too much too soon, I think, and I, I kind of screwed it up. It's still hurting today. I did see a doctor. They said basically it's okay. It's just going to take some time to heal. I think it's going to be good enough to do some riding at least in Mallorca in just, uh, what is it, three days. Today's Friday, so Saturday, Sunday, Monday, in three days. 
I think it'll be good enough to do some riding. I don't know if I'll be able to do all of the riding that I wanted to do. Nevertheless, let me tell you what happened out there today. So today I did a really normal ride that I've done many, many times. It's very close to my house and it has some climbing. I wanted to do some climbing so I could test my knee plus test the bike. So uh, what I did is 19.4 kilometers. I only gained 212 uh, meters in elevation and uh, that took 53 minutes overall. One thing that's kind of interesting to look at is some of the segments, like how fast I was compared to prior um, attempts. The one that I like to look at most on this route is the, it's called the uh, Goonsburg Road Steep Segment Climb. I don't think I made this one, but maybe I did. If I look at my results, I have 20 times recorded on Strava, and my best attempt at it was back on September 17th, 2017, with uh, 6 minutes 23 seconds. Today, I did 7 minutes 39 seconds. And if you look at the overall kind of spread, it doesn't look too bad. It's definitely um, a little bit low. But considering I haven't done any really intense exercise for over a month, probably about six weeks, and considering I was taking it easy on my leg, considering I'm on this heavier bike, I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy about that. And I, I think the reason why that it wasn't as bad as I was worried that it would have been is because I was using Zwift quite a bit uh, earlier in this year. So I think I kind of built what they call a base of fitness. But as I said, my biggest concern is still my knee. I'm not that worried about my fitness. I think it's okay. It's enough I'll make it up any mountain. I can do any kind of reasonable ride. Not worried about that. It's just going to be a little bit slower than I would have liked it. But what I'm really worried about is my knee, that it holds up, that the pain doesn't get too high, meaning there's a problem. So, but how did it do today performing? Uh, first of all, the feel. The feel of the bike um, was fine. It, it, to me, it handles very neutrally. It doesn't scare me or surprise me or do anything weird. But it does feel kind of heavy. And I feel like it feels more heavy than it actually is heavy, if that makes sense. It's only, um, it's only like 10 kilograms, if I remember right. And my other one's only 9. So that's not a huge weight difference. But it feels pretty heavy riding it. Or maybe that's because I'm a little bit heavy. Mechanically and everything, it was okay. I did have a little problem with the chain uh, when I was shifted to my smallest chain ring in the front. I was already in my biggest in the back and I went down to the smallest in the front and it kind of got caught up or something. And then I had to uh, push the, uh, the shifter and it kind of went back into place. So I'm not sure why because when I have it up here on the stand, it's not doing that. Uh, that's a little bit of a worry, but it did get into its gear. All the gears are shifting. It is working. Uh, that that's the biggest thing I'm worried about. Everything else was absolutely fine though. The braking was fine, handling was fine. Uh, really nothing else to speak of on the bike. It really worked perfectly on this little test ride. But one of my biggest problems with the bike right now is actually my confidence in the bike. Because I haven't rode it that much, I don't feel super comfortable on the bike. Just the just the feeling of it, especially descending. I was a little bit you know afraid, basically not afraid, but I didn't feel really confident descending like I would on my other road bike or especially like I do on my mountain bike. So anyway though, you know, I guess, I guess I'll figure that out when I'm out in Mallorca. I've been bringing quite a bit of tools in case anything breaks. Almost forgot, but I wanted to show you what I'm bringing in terms of tools and supplies to Mallorca with me. Uh, so what you see here is actually a frame bag, but I'm just using it as a tool pouch right now. I'm not going to actually, I don't plan to put it on the bike. But uh, what I have in here is a, another spare. So I already have one spare on the bike and then another one here. This is where I am keeping all my tools. So I have most basic bike tools plus some general tools, a, a, a crescent wrench in there, you know, whatever, a chain breaker, even for the chain ring tool. So some pretty, you know, decent tools here. It should be enough to get me by. So that's it. That's all the tools and stuff I'm bringing. Uh, I think it's going to be enough. I hope it's going to be enough. So this will be my last video until I am in Mallorca. Definitely stay tuned for that. You can hit the subscribe button, the bell icon if you want. And uh, then you'll get to see how this bike actually performs on the big mountains with other people. Um, hopefully it holds up. Hopefully I hold up. But uh, it's going to be an adventure. So uh, stay tuned to the channel for that. That will be the next video. Um, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.